I'm Jim McHale, CEO of JP McHale Pest Management. If you're seeing more carpenter ants in your home than usual, you're not alone. Last winter we had a lot of snow, which means we're going to have a lot of carpenter ant activity this year. So here's a couple things you should look out for. Carpenter ants require moist wood, and unlike termites, they do not eat the wood. They just excavate it out and lay their eggs in it. If you are seeing more than five carpenter ants every single day, this is not something you can ignore. They can cause extensive structural damage. The good news is we can help. Your solution is just a phone call away. To protect your home and business from carpenter ant invasion, here are some tips that you can employ personally. Make sure all gutters and leaders are diverting precipitation away from the structure. While that snow is sitting on your roof, it may have dislodged a gutter. It's something that you may not have even noticed, but now you have the conditions for a satellite carpenter ant colony to move in. To fix this, you want to call in a trained gutter professional to go up and make sure the gutters and leaders are properly diverting precipitation away from your foundation. It's a simple fix, but one that's often overlooked. If you don't want to send your husband up on a ladder, I'm happy to send one of my guys to come over and check it out for you. Another thing to look out for is the sagging deck or the sagging front stoop. What used to be structurally sound is now collecting water and providing a home base for the carpenter ants. It's reasonable to suspect that, that repairing a deck or a front stoop could be a very large project, but I would suggest reaching out to your local contractor to see if there's an easy workaround. Those big beautiful trees around your home, they're starting to get a little too close to the roof line. Cut those tree limbs back and protect your home against carpenter ants and those other unwanted invaders. When you let those trees grow and don't trim them back, you actually provide avenues of entry for the carpenter ants and also you block uh, sunlight from drying things out expeditiously after precipitation occurs. You know that stump that's in your backyard? It's decomposing, growing fungus, and setting the stage for a carpenter ant infestation. Some people believe you need to do an entire stump removal. In this particular case, all you need is to have a trained tree professional come in with a stump grinder, grind the stump up to allow sunlight and air to get into the stump dry it out, and the carpenter ants will take the path of least resistance and go elsewhere. When our team comes in, we're going to identify and destroy the satellite colony in your home, as well as the main colony that's living out in the yard somewhere. This is not something you can handle by yourself with a little bug spray. This is a problem that requires a trained professional. If you're seeing five or more ants a day every single day in your home, there could be as many as 50,000 in the immediate vicinity. If you're dealing with a carpenter ant issue or any other pest-related problem, please don't hesitate to give us a call. I know we can help.